Good morning, class. Today we are working on Reader's Notebook Lesson 12, pages 175 and 176. We're working on present and past tense verbs, and we're also going to then work on future tense. And we're going to go ahead and get started with our present and past tense. Okay, the tense of a verb shows the time of an action or an event. Verbs in present tense show that an event is happening now or regularly. Verbs in past tense show that an event has already happened. Okay, to form the past tense of most verbs, you can add D or add ED to the end of the word. Present tense, today most Americans live in or near cities. And that's present tense, that's happening today, they live, so live. Past tense would be most of the American colonists lived on farms, and you can see that's the word live with a D at the end, lived, and that's past tense. Now in our activity today, all that you have to do, it says, write the verbs in each sentence and tell whether they are present or past tense. And so all you're going to do on the line is write the verb and then tell me present or past tense. So let's look at number one together. It says, Pedro shared how the New England colonist lived. You can see that in this sentence, there are two verbs. We have the word shared and we have the word lived, okay? You can see that shared has a D on the end, shared, okay? So we know that that's past tense. And you can see that the word lived has a D on the end, and that's also past tense. And remember we talked a little bit about um, making sure that we keep things either in present or past tense within a sentence so that we don't have verb confusion. And so in number one, you're going to underline the word shared and the word lived because those are both verbs, okay? And you're going to write those verbs on the line and you're going to write past tense for each because they have a D at the end. They're saying what happened in the past. Numbers two, three, four, and five, you're going to do the same thing. Identify the verb or verbs in the sentence, write them on the line, and then tell whether, write whether they are past tense or present tense. You can go ahead and pause your video here and do numbers two, three, four, and five on your own, and you can click play again when you're ready to move on. Our next page today, we're going to be talking about verbs in future tense. And verbs in future tense show that it, there's an event that is going to happen, okay? And to form verbs in future tense, you can use helping verbs such as will. Oftentimes we think, see things like he will complete his homework after school. And that's showing future tense, okay? He completes his homework at school would be present tense. But we're looking for future tense. So he will complete his homework after school. You can shorten future tense verbs by using a contraction. And in order to do that, if you had he will, as we were talking about, complete his homework after school, you're going to just create the contraction he, apostrophe LL, heal. Okay, and that's the contraction for he will. All right, and so we're going to go ahead and our, look at our activity here, and it says write the future tense of the verb in parentheses. Write both the full future tense and the contraction. So if we look at number one, it says she takes a field trip with her class, and we need to make this future tense. So the full future tense verb would be she will take. So she will take a field trip with her class. And then to write the contraction, it's just she'll, so it's S-H-E apostrophe L-L, she'll take. So for future tense, that sentence would read, she will take a field trip with her class, or if you use the contraction, she'll take a field trip with her class. And so on that line, you need to write, she will take, or she'll, or she'll take both of those forms because it asks for both. Okay, and you're going to continue that on for two, three, four, and five on your own. When you have finished your work, make sure you take a picture of it, attach it to your assignment, upload it in Teams, and turn it in. Thank you.